Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djcentry.blogspot.com and today we are talking about layers. Today is all about the layers and so let's just jump right into the 12th day of Christmas tag and this one's going to have lots of sparkle and glitz and shine and um, all sorts of things in there. So let's just get going on it. So the paper pad that I'm using for this tag today is the Lost and Found um, Christmas Collection from My Mind's Eye. And I chose three different papers from that and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, these are double-sided papers and they coordinate fairly well, actually pretty well, with these Teresa Collins um, Christmas Cottage Die Cut Flowers. So that was my inspiration for that piece. In fact, here is the flower. I chose the large one and a smaller one. Um, and I inked around the edges with festive berries. Now the reason why is because the bottom of these are white and I didn't want the white showing and I want to give it some extra dimension. Now I didn't like, I added these great big thick foam dots and honestly I didn't like the way they look so we're going to just play with it and I think I'll get out um, some pop-up relief glue dots and we'll use those instead but we'll come back to that so let's go to the tag now for the front of the tag or the back of the tag I'm sorry for the back of the tag we used um, this paper from the Mary and Bright collection now unfortunately because it's a six by six inch pad um, it's not quite tall enough um, to fit and I wanted it to say Marion Bright and I wanted you to be able to see it, but I was a little bit shy. So what I did is this is the back side of the same paper. And so what I did is I adhered, I, or I cut the tag size that I wanted. And then I took another scrap of that paper and I cut it, um, oh, probably about a half inch, three quarters of an inch wide. And then I use my scallop sentiment punch to punch out the top. So this will be the top. Now on the bottom side, again, this, it wasn't quite big enough, long enough to fit the direction that I wanted. Um, if I want it, it would fit. No, it was, it was shy no matter which way I went because it's a true six by six pad. But since it's all about the layers on this one, it didn't really matter because I was going to be covering up. But if you'll notice, I used some of the glitter tape down here, which gives it kind of a, it's kind of a vintagey reddish color glitter. And this is very vintage paper. Um, and if you notice, I have the little bit here on the bottom of the tag, whereas on the other side I have it at the top of the tag. And the reason why is because I didn't want lots of bulk right here to have to punch my hole through. So let's move on to the next part of the tag. So what I've done here is I've um, covered the tag with the main paper, which is this one. The other side of it looks like that. And I put my glitter tape already down and now we're going to move to the next layer. Now I've already adhered my flower together, as I said, and I'm just gonna kind of put it there um, I'm going to move it over just a little bit because I want to see it. And now we're just going to kind of play with this and see what I want to do. I may add more glitter tape. I may not. I may just rip. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's just kind of see. Um, when you're ripping, if you decide to rip paper, when you rip it, if you rip it towards yourself, the white edge is going to be on top. If you rip it away from yourself, the white edge is going to be underneath. So that's just a thought when you're ripping paper. Ripping paper is a lot of fun. Now, let's go ahead and grab our distress tool here and just kind of ink that up because I don't, obviously I don't want a white color because that won't work for me. And just ink kind of around there, just like that. Do I like that? Hmm. Maybe I'll tuck it in a little bit further just so I have a little bit of extra layer peeking out there. I like it right that, right about there. So let's go ahead and grab my ATG. If you could only see the mess I have around me. I know I've said that on these videos before because I've had so many projects that I've been working on for Christmas. It is a disaster and I'm not done yet and I'm running out of time. And I'm thinking, oh, how in the world am I going to even find the room that I need? to and the time I need to get it all done it'll probably just stay a mess till after Christmas all right so that's going to go there 
And like I said, I inked around that. Let's go ahead and just give this a light ink just to kind of pull in those colors. And besides that, we don't want any white edges showing. Just like that. There we go. I'll ink around that edge in there, but you won't see much of it. Okay, so now we've got our, our flower here that says 12. And let's, like I said, I'm going to use these pop-up relief. I use glue dots just to put them together, but these um, pop-up relief glue dots are quite large. Um, I think I'm going to, whoops, I need to pull them off like that. Let's take maybe three of them and put them down just like that. Boy, I've got glue dots everywhere. Not sure what, never had that happen to me before. Sorry about that, guys. And then we'll just put this here and really press it down well. But it gives it some extra dimension. Now, I also, another thing that I did is I just kind of bent my leaves just to give it a little bit of realism instead of just flat paper. Just kind of bent them and played with them just a bit. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm not going to use that after all. Let's go ahead for the next step and put our ribbon in. Now, I chose two ribbons. I chose some of this um, gold ribbon that I used early in the series from um, Celebration, Celebrated or for the Michaels brand ribbon. And then this is some more of that really reasonable ribbon that I used. And we are going to just pull those through here. It matches really, really, that red matches really red with, or really well with most of it. I don't love the way that it goes with the back side of the Marian Bright, but it's okay. And I think I am going to go ahead, like I have some of the times I've tied bows, some of the times I've just um, looped them through, like you see, like a bookmark. I think this time I'm going to try to tie a bow. It may be difficult because this ribbon is stiffer than my normal Three Girl Jam. And sometimes I have enough trouble with the Three Girl Jam because I'm not an expert bow tier. But stiffer ribbon is sometimes even more difficult. So we'll see how well that works out. How well it pulls through. Well, yeah, that's going to work. And I've kind of got my tail going the wrong direction there, but that's okay that one through kind of the bad thing of doing two is getting them through okay there you go Ooh, that's pretty I like that okay so we're gonna have that there now this is kind of empty I think I'm gonna just for now leave it empty but we're going to add another finishing touch and the next thing I'm going to do is I've got this goldenrod stickles from um, Ranger and let's just add a little bit of stickle uh, some more glitz and shine now remember I store my glitter upside down because I found that it helps me not to have as many air bubbles that then all of a sudden I have this huge old poof of it and so that's what I found works really well for me so we'll just go around here really make that black 12 stand out a little bit more. So in this series, we've had really simple tags, and then we've had some more that have taken a little bit more work. Um, and that's, that's just the beauty of it. Now I'm gonna just take my finger here and I'm gonna put a little bit of stickles on here. That upside down, and I should have done it with my other hand because I'm right handed. And what I'm doing, you can see, I'm just kind of touching it to the edge just barely every once in a while. You'll see it come through. It's not like I'm having big, bold lines of stickle there, just a little bit of a touch to the edge. It's kind of fun. That's not something, again, not something I've done. Layering is a technique that I really enjoy. I like the looks of lots of layers. Um, it's good to have, um, to mix larger patterns and smaller patterns um, because you don't want all of them large or they'll get lost. You don't want all of them small or they'll get lost. Either way, they get lost. You just want to just 
just coordinate those with the color palettes and that's why I like to use um, pattern paper from the same collections because then you know that for the most part they're going to coordinate together very well. So this is just about done. I've not even on the flower edges themselves. I don't even have it all over the edge, the stickles. I just have, you just get a little hint to that stickle coming through here and there. Just to add, just, oops, I don't know where that one came from. Hmm, must have been on the back. Just to add just that little touch of glitter on that. A little touch of glamour. Glitter glamour. Alrighty. So there we have day 12 of the 12 days of Christmas. I am so thankful to you for coming by and um, watching all 12 of these videos. If you missed one, you can go back and um, look at them. Um, a good idea for next year for sharing with your neighbors or your friends or just, you know, maybe you're going to do 12 gifts for somebody. Just um, something that's a little bit fun, a little bit out of the ordinary. So thanks so much for stopping by today and remember to take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye. Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and welcome to day 8 of the 12 days of Christmas tags. So today we're going to be doing um, something a little bit different than what we've done. I've done the back and I have a, I used a piece of scratch paper um, and this paper was blue on one side and green and red on the other. And I put that down and I've distressed around the edges of it with Festive Berries Distress Ink and I've done the same around my eighth day tag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use tape. Now I have three different brands of tape here. I have the Teresa Collins's Christmas Cottage Tape, which I love. I have um, paper tape from Martha Stewart Crafts, which I believe is still available. I bought this a year or two ago, but I'm pretty sure this is still available. Um, and then I have, this is part of the cottage, Christmas cottage. Then I have these from Recollections. And this is from two different packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a background today using our tapes. Um, and I am just going to make it kind of colorful. Um, I wanted to throw on some colors, mostly traditional type Christmas colors. They're not going to be really bright, but they are going to be traditional type colors and I am just going to show you how I'm going to do this. Now I'm not being too particular here because we'll go back and trim it. Um, but I just, washi tape is the one of the things that this is called and um, it's really been popular this year. Maybe longer than that, but I really started paying more attention to it this year. And there's so many things you can do with it. You can use it to tape things into your smash book or journal. You can use it to um, create a background like what I'm doing here today. You can use it for um, just adding interest. You can make little banners out of it. It's It tears really easy. I've been using the Tim Holtz tape for, oh, I don't know, maybe a year or two. Um, and then just recently have I started adding to my collection of different tapes but it just adds a little bit different dimension uh, or a little bit different tape to your projects and then and it this tears really easy now the Tim Holtz um, there is a dispenser available for his um, but I don't have that I just used this one I think I don't want to put my poinsettia is down quite yet because I don't really want them to show. So you see, you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here with them. Um, I didn't want to put the poinsettias right next to the deer because I thought they would be a little bit too busy. But it, you just simply tape it and put it back. Um, one Another thing that it's really good for that I found is sometimes putting on the back of projects. And you know, it comes up fairly easy, so it's also even good for um, using it as um, a mask, if you need a mask, or to hold something temporarily, and then you can pull it back up. Now let's throw in a little bit of green from the Christmas Cottage. I've used them also on my journals. If you um, go back in YouTube or on the blog, I've made quite a few journals, and some of them I've used on I've used the washi tape on the binding. So you kind of get the idea here. I'm going to finish this up, and I, when I come back, we'll finish up the tag. 
Okay, so we're back and I have um, finished up my tag here. I have um, trimmed all around the edge. Now sometimes you can just tear it and I have done that if, if you can get a clean tear and often you can just get a clean tear. Um, this time I just took my scissors and I have these, um, these are honeybee scissors from EK Success um, and they're supposed to be non-stick because my Tim Holtz scissors I just found, they're across the room. I've been looking for them today. Um, but um, I trimmed around those. Now I have this twine right here that I picked up. It's Baker's twine from Martha Stewart and I picked this up on sale yesterday at Joann's and honestly I didn't even pick it up in the scrapbooking section at the Joann's in the city where I was. It's a large Joann's and they actually had it in with um, like where they're um, different um, canisters and plastic containers and tins and things are so that you can um, give gifts and that's where I found this particular one and it's solid color and I chose the green and the red just because I don't know about you but this tag here kind of reminds me of an old um, Christmas sweater and so I just wanted to go really super simple with the way I'm going to tie it up and we're just going to loop this through and that part is going to be done. I'll probably trim it up. I don't really need that much. And there's the top of the tag. So now all we have to do is put our number on it and then we're ready to go. So what I did is I chose from the back, um, I chose the same paper, which you see the blue on the side, and I put my eight on it. I inked around the edge just like I did with the back. And this one's a little bit different for me. This one is a little bit um, vintage, I guess you would say. It doesn't have the sparkle and the glitz and the glam. It's just old home to me. It doesn't really scream beauty, shall I say. It's just a simple tag. And there we have day eight using washi tape. So thanks so much for stopping by today and remember to take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day, bye.